Hello and welcome to Happier, a podcast where we discuss strategies and tips for how to be happier, healthier, more productive, and more creative. This week, we'll talk about why we're using Halfway Day to review our 22 for 22 list and our Rest 22 in 22. I'm Gretchen Rubin, a writer who studies happiness, good habits, human nature, and the five senses. And once again, I am in my home office here in New York City, and joining me today from Los Angeles is my sister, Elizabeth Kraft. That's me, Elizabeth Kraft, a TV writer and producer living in L.A., and I'm also in my home office, Gretchen, where I spend most of my time. Yeah, you and me both. So, big news here. Yes. I went to the Paul McCartney concert. Yes. It was amazing. Our producer, Chuck, had mentioned it, and I never do things like go to concerts, but I did with Jamie, and it was amazing. Yes, and Bruce Springsteen came out, so that was huge. Yes, and Bon Jovi, and so it was huge. And Elizabeth, you and I, for our song of the summer, we picked I've Got a Feeling, and that was the first encore song. It was amazing. Yay, I'm so glad you went. Yes. And Gretchen, if anyone wants to hear more about your Paul McCartney concert experience and how you happened to go, we talk about it on the most recent episode of More Happier that aired 625. Yeah, yeah, I'll link to that in the show notes. I also wanted to let people know that my Know Yourself Better journal for embracing change is available for Mm. pre-order. This is if you're going through any kind of change, big or small, if you're going through a transition, it's meant to help you reflect on your experience, your interests and values so you can move forward in the way um, that's right for you. And so I will post a link to that or you can go to happiercast.com slash journals. And uh, you can get 15% off when you pre-order. Mm. Just use the code HAPPIERCHANGE15 at checkout. And then, Gretchen, we got an interesting report about a one-word theme from one of our listeners. Yeah, Rebecca, I thought she had such an interesting approach to her theme. She writes, my one-word theme for the year has been presentation. This refers both to a work goal of presenting, that is speaking or leading a discussion, something that is encouraged by the higher-ups, and to improving how I present myself to the world. I've been unhappy with my hair, so I went to a new salon and got a better cut. I've also been more deliberate about makeup. In the remainder of the year, I hope to get some new, more modern clothing and to tone muscles with strength training and yoga. More importantly, I finally got over my fear of presenting in front of a work audience, and it actually went extremely well, to the point that I actually want to do it again. So I think I've definitely fulfilled the theme. I love presentation. I love that word. I might have to pick that next year. That's such a juicy word. I love it. We love words when there's multiple layers, multiple interpretations, and this is that. Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. So this week, our Try This at Home tip is to use halfway day to reevaluate our 22 and 22 list. So, you know, I love the calendar of catalysts and July Uh 2nd is halfway day, um, which is coming up. We're, We're closing in on it. And so we thought we would use Halfway Day as a catalyst to review our 22 and 22 lists. Okay, Gretchen, should we just dive into our lists? Yes. Okay, listen, let's start with you. Your word for the year, which we talked about, is step. Yes. It's a great word. Okay, so your number one was get a season three for Fantasy Island. Yeah. So on this one, Gretchen, I feel um, that I have not gotten a season three yet, but I feel that I will get a season three. And I feel that Sarah and I, my writing partner and co-host of Happier in Hollywood, I feel like we've done our part. I feel like we did everything we could do to get a season three. And if we don't get a season three, I won't feel like we failed. I will just feel it didn't happen. But I I am hoping this will happen by um, the end of the year. Because you can't put an outcome on your list because you can't control that outcome. That's out of your control. But you can do everything within your control, which you've done. So that's great. So So that's underway. Hold a premiere party for season two of Fantasy Island. Well, here's the funny thing, Gretchen. We were supposed to premiere May 31st, but the network decided that they love the show and they want to air it at a time when there are more people watching TV, which is not during the summer. So they actually moved us to January. So I can't have, I won't be able to have a premiere party until at least January 2023. But that's good. That's good news. So excellent. Yes, but 
it's a good thing because it means they have a lot of faith in the show. So that's, so that's a good great. thing. Number three, get the shingles vaccine. Yes, I got my first dose of the shingles vaccine. I think I have another month before I can get the second one. And thank you to everybody who let me know that I was wrong about the spacing of the shingles vaccine. That was very helpful information. Yes. Number four, take a family trip to San Francisco. Haven't done that, but I'm hoping we will do that this summer. I really want to go to Alcatraz. It's like a burning desire. Okay. Lately, for some reason. So I want, this is the summer to go to Alcatraz. Well, San Francisco is such a great city too. It is. Number five, celebrate Adam's milestone birthday in July. Okay. Well, it hasn't happened yet, obviously. I am, I have to use this reflection time, Gretchen, to like, like motivate myself to plan something. Cause I must admit I've brought it up. I've talked about it, but I haven't actually planned anything. Okay. So must do. Well, this we'll is a good reminder then. Back on that. Yes. Right. And I need to get on it quickly. Number six, get your treadmill service. Do you have your treadmill desk that you use constantly? Yes. Did get that service. It's made a huge difference. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Take a family trip to Disney World. That did not happen, and I don't see that happening um, this year, partly because of just lingering COVID and partly because I thought it would be something I could tack on to a trip to Puerto Rico, mm. but that didn't happen, so now it's like a whole separate trip that needs to happen, but I still want to take the family to Disney World. Okay. With Adam, finish writing your will which is a carryover from your 21 and 21 list. Yeah, haven't finished, started, have not finished. You guys have started. You're stuck in a holding pattern. Yeah, we dropped the ball and... Buy a new arm for your microphone. I did that, yes. Good. Get a colonoscopy. No, I have not done that, Gretchen. I'm going to use this as motivation to schedule that. That's one of my main items on my um, design your summer, summer of health list. When well, also wasn't your will, writing your will, you sort of had decided yes, that was Yes, I also stuff. put that on my, because yeah, will, it seems related to health. So yeah. I need to get that done this summer. Number 11, go to the electric lake in Puerto Rico. All right, Gretch, this one I'm kind of taking off the list because I must say Sarah and I and Violet actually had reservations to go to the electric lake. We were all set to go. And then we got an email with, you know, the instructions and it said at the bottom, you know, and by the way, you should be an intermediate level kayaker for this. And we're oh. like, what? I've never been in a kayak in my life. Oh. So we decided that we should not do the excursion. So okay. I'm taking that one off the list. So I'll have to think of something to take its place. Okay. Th true. But I do feel like you, you get moral claim to it because you actually had reservations. Yes. I feel like yes. that was sort of I, like... I was so ready to follow through on that, Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's annoying when you're <laughs> like, ooh, I'm going to get something across off the list. Number 12, organize a mom's trip to see a comedian at Morongo. Okay, I haven't done that in my defense, I haven't, I have looked up to see who's there and there hasn't been anyone that I felt was, you know, I wanted oh. to go see. Okay. But I have organized uh, moms to go see Countess Luann do her cabaret show, one of the New York housewives. So okay. I feel like it's in the same spirit. It's in the same spirit. And you have been looking and it, and it's sort of, so it's sort of yes. like you have to wait for the right moment. Okay. Yes. Walk from Encino to Malibu. This, I am, I would do this with you when I come. I, I love, go I once walked from Capitol Hill to Bethesda with my college roommate. I love these huge urban walks. I want to like circumnavigate the island of Manhattan. So I'm very excited for you to do this. Yes, I need to do this, Gretchen. This is with my friend Allison and she has mapped out the route. She did it on her bicycle. So this is just needs to happen. Well, it's probably a fall. weather thing When it too, cools right? down. Yeah. yeah. Number 14, get new outdoor furniture. We have been looking. We haven't bought anything, but Adam and I have been looking. Okay. That's a big investment. Yes. So you have to take yeah. your time. Number 15, oh, get another dog. Yes. This was the one you found so shocking that was I on did. my list. I did. And we did it. Yes. We have Daisy and I cannot imagine life without her. It was a great decision. I mean, like, look, whenever you do on your 22 for 22 list, this was definitely the most ambitious one. And you did. It so was. I think, you know, right. And if it hadn't been on my list, putting it on my list really crystallized that I wanted to do it because mm. I was almost embarrassed to say it was on my list. But I'm like, well, I really want this. 
So again, it's like making the list helps me kind of know my own self. Mm-hmm. Right. Interesting. Yeah, because I was like, what are you saying? I was flabbergasted. I yes, but you knew what you wanted. And you were right. Uh, number 16, visit the Capri Room at Buca di Beppo in Encino. Yes, that's the room uh, designed by one of the real housewives of Beverly Hills. And I have not gone there yet, uh, but I have identified a friend who also wants to go. So okay. I'm part way there, Gretch. Okay. It sounds like a manageable thing. It sounds like it'll be more fun than a colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> that's like two miles from my house. That I can do. I can go to the Buca di Beppo. Okay. Go to the Integratron, which is a carryover. That is the sound bath in, I believe, yes. Joshua Tree. Yes. Scratch. I've had this on my list, I think, for like four years since we started doing this. And I haven't gone yet. Almost went once. Didn't happen. Um, I have to do this. I'm thinking maybe Adam and I can do this when Jack is at camp. Because Adam yeah. really wants to go. Adam loves sound baths as well. Mm. Okay. I would like to do it too. I keep thinking of things that I'd like to do when I come, but I, uh, I yeah. need to come to LA to do them. Uh, number 18, host a mom's party in your backyard. Haven't done it, Gretch. No, I can't excuse, have no excuses, no reason. I just haven't gotten it together. Okay. Well, it's on your list. You're all, we're halfway. So right, you've got, right. you've got a is, long way yes. to go. Read 22 novels. And so we're halfway through. So I think, like, are you on track to read 22 novels? Definitely on track to read 22 novels. That I will accomplish. Okay. You'll blow past that is my prediction. Number 20, walk Nacho. I guess Nacho and Daisy. Yes. Five times each week. Haven't done that. It's just been a little more sporadic. Gretchen will have streaks where we walk them, you know, every day for a week or two, and then we get off and then we have to get back on. One thing is because we have a good sized backyard and there's two of them, they chase each other around all day. So it's not as if they're not getting exercise, mm -hmm. but still they love walks and I want the extra exercise of taking them on walks. So right. I need to get back on the five day a week horse here. Okay. Number 21, send Christmas cards this year. So have not gathered, as you predicted, I've done nothing toward this. I know I'm supposed to be gathering addresses. I have no, done nothing, I must admit. I didn't want to, I didn't want to give a, a, a pessimistic prediction. I was just yeah. observing that it's, <laughs> that, a, yes. it's, there's a lot of it's prep complicated. work. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of a process. Yeah, that takes more time than you might think. Especially the first time. And then finally, 22, arrange for professional family photos with Nacho and now Daisy. Yes, have not done that. I will say I've kind of brought up the notion to the family, and they're usually so against pictures. But when you bring in the dogs, they're a little bit more like, well, that is a good idea. We should get a picture with them. So oh. um, I'm laying the groundwork there. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of professional photos, so I'm a big I'm a big proponent of that. I think I know you are. Um, so, you know, I'm on the way with some things. I'm really glad we're doing this because I do feel like I have a lighter load this summer and I feel like I actually can use the summer to cross some of these off. And there are things I want to do. So yeah. I need to remember, like, these are, I chose these because I want to do them. So there's no reason in the world why I shouldn't. Gretch, I had to hold, here's what my list looks like, by the way, for... You have these amazing yeah. PDFs you can print yeah. out. So yeah. for anyone who's watching yes. on And I'll put a link wine, in the show notes too. They're yeah. very cool. I love keeping that just like on my treadmill desk and then I can look at it. I just need to look at it more often. Yeah, that's the thing is just stay, I, I feel the same way that it's just remembering that something is even on the list. It's funny how exactly. you're like, you're like, oh, we could have totally tried to go to the Integratron two weeks from now, but I, I forgot yes. I wanted to go or whatever. Yes, yeah. exactly. Coming up, we're going to go through Gretchen's 22 for 2022 list. But first, this break. Okay, Gretchen, we are back. It's your turn to go through your list. Now, your one-word theme for the year is salt. Yes. And we talked about that. Great yeah. word. So your number one on your list was sign up for more sensory adventures by yourself and with family and friends. I have done that. I have signed up for various sensory adventures, but I want to do more of that. So I would say that's kind of underway. Like I went okay. to a sound bath here in New York City, kind of inspired by your love of sound baths. I went with a friend and they're always really fun. And I went to the Paul McCartney concert. That was a sound adventure. Yes. Yes. So I want to do more of them because I really do love them. Okay, good. 
clean up your office. No, I have not done that. And I really want to do that. So uh, yeah, I'm glad to have this on the list because I, I need to just like take an afternoon and really clean it out. Like a deep clean, not a just deep clean. A tidying. Not just tidying. Tidying I can do, but I really need to just clear stuff out. Okay. Then number three is encourage Eleanor to clean out her room. Yeah, so her semester just ended. So now she's like on summer. So she has some time. And I'm like, we need to clean out your room. I mean, she is an abundance lover, which I yes. embrace. So I know that. She, but I'm like, even an abundance lover, you don't. I'm like, that's just like an empty shopping bag. Or like, why do you have this is like, an. I don't think you even want this book anymore. Like, can I put it on the shelf? I, I think there's a lot where we could just keep the abundance that she loves. But and then I yeah. think she's got some clothes that she wants to give away. And socks where she's lost the the mate and and we just need to go through and and clean it up and i I, of course elizabeth you've you've been you know an innocent bystander i (laughs) i find it incredibly energizing and so i'm licking my chops at the thought of getting in there let's do it she's not that excited but i'll wear her down eventually yeah and i know she'll be glad she likes it yes yeah yes Okay, number four is catch up on your physical photo albums. Well, here, this is the thing where I I did the hard part, which is ordering the albums. But then the final step is to go through and handwrite the captions on the pages. Mm. And it's been months and months and months, and I haven't done that. And I don't know why. I have them right out sitting on a coffee table. So I'm like, I'll put them right here so I'll see them for sure. And I just keep not doing it. So, again, I'm hoping that seeing this will make you want to do them. Yeah. Good. Okay, number five is buy a big backpack for traveling. I did that. Ah, now is this a big backpack like luggage or no, like no. a day pack? Just a just a bigger backpack. Um, I had to oh, borrow okay. Eleanor's backpack for something, and I was like, "Wow, I can just fit so much more in here." I used to try to have a smaller backpack so it wouldn't get so heavy, but now mm. I realize I wanted one that when I travel, I can easily put in my laptop and like a couple hardback books and some snacks. And my backpack was so small that I would have to jam everything in there. And now I have one right. where I can like put in my shawl that I used for airplanes and all that oh, stuff good. fits in neatly. So, yeah. Great. Number six, create more products. Yes, I've created products. I will put in a link. You can check out the journals and the drinkware and the stickers. And I have so much stuff and there's more coming. I mentioned the Know Yourself good. Better journal that's coming. Um, so that's been very exciting. That's There's more I to come, but products. that's well underway. Yeah. They're my go-to gift now, Gretch. Oh, good. You're such a good sister. Okay. Number seven, invite your high school friends to your apartment. Yes, we did this. My high school friends all came and had a mini reunion in New York City. And I had everybody over and we had a wonderful time. And, and uh, oh, had good. yeah, we had dinner at my house before we went to see a show. Oh, nice. Okay. Number eight, take a trip with Eleanor. Getting ready to go. That's organized and it's going to happen. On the books. It's on the books. I will report Excellent. back. Yeah. Uh, this one fascinates me. Number nine, delegate 22 things. I have not done even one thing. I totally forgot that was oh even on the gosh. list. I got to do that. And I know it was such a clever thing. And no, yes. I have no, completely undone. Nope. Okay. Number 10, have a summer of rereading. So this I feel very bad about because I really want to have a summer of rereading. And I have these books that I'm so excited to reread, but I feel like I have so much new stuff that I need to read for one reason or another Mm. that I just haven't been able to make time for rereading. So I think I may have to kick this over to my winter of rereading or I, I don't know. So it's not happening. Okay. 11, figure out if it's possible to have better soundproofing for your office. We all know you use many pillows. In there. Yes, I use many pillows. I think Chuck is kind of like, eh, it's okay. He can make it okay. work. So I sort of decided. He makes yeah. the magic. Yeah, he okay. makes the magic. Poor Chuck. The sirens, the sirens, the sirens. Yeah. Okay, number 12, hang pictures. Have not done this. So it's such a lovely thing. Every year, my in-laws give a drawing to Eliza and Eleanor for their birthday. It's a wonderful, wonderful tradition. And I am so many years behind. It is just because of COVID. We we had to skip a couple of years. But I'm going to do that this summer. I'm going to do it. And then post a picture because we yes, all want to see what it looks like. Yeah. Number 13, I'm intrigued. Wear makeup every day. No. I abandoned that so fast. Elizabeth, you knew that I was not going to stick to that. No, you know what? I absolutely thought you would. I thought you would stick to it. You know what it is? It's not the putting it on. It's the taking it off. Right. I got, I have now to the point where I don't mind putting it on. 
but I really don't like taking it off. And so it feels like a treat if I'm like washing my face at night and I don't have to like get all the makeup off. I get that. I totally get that. But it reminds me, Gretchen, of when we had our month of wearing real clothes. Yes. Remember? Oh, yeah. And I was amazed that you were going to do 12 months of makeup, but I I was expecting perfection on that. But yeah. that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. These are things we want to do. It's If yes. you decide you don't, that's fine. Right. That's right. Um, number 14, take a daily nap, schedule permitting. I am doing that. That's part of my hashtag rest 22 and 22. I love taking naps. So this is something that I have no trouble at all doing. I love to take a nap now. Great. 15 is do a daily reading review. And this was a carryover. You've discussed this before. Yeah, this is me trying to like go through my books in this way of sort of an evaluating process. And it would make so much sense for me to do this. And yet somehow I just, I'm not getting it done. I, I, I'm glad that it's on the list because I want to reevaluate my approach to it because maybe I need to try it in a different part of the day. Maybe I'm, mm. oh, I'm trying to do it as sort of the go. end of the day. Maybe it should be a morning thing. Um, maybe it should be a weekend thing. Maybe I should do it on the weekend. Maybe that's what mm. it sh I should like say. Instead, instead of trying to do it every day, I just that's like kind of like power hour for books. Maybe that's I'll, okay, I'm going to experiment idea. with that. Yeah. That's okay. my new thing is like try a different day part. That's smart. If something's not working. Okay. I'll report back. Okay. Number 16, have a sense party, meaning S-C-E-N-T-S, -E aroma party. So I didn't, I haven't actually had a scent party, but when I had my high school friends over, I did have the brainwave to pull out some of my samplers and mm. they were so into it. Everybody was really excited and got like, and really enjoyed it. So it reminded me of how much people love to experience fragrance together and scents together. I also had my Nez de Cafe where people could smell how coffee smells are. So that was super fun. So uh, I got very excited to have another sense party. Good. Well, then that kind of was a sense party. It was. Gretchen. It was. It was an impromptu sense party. I yes. saw I saw my opportunity and I took it. I think you can cross that one off the list. Okay. Is what I'm okay. Saying. I'll take it. 17, take a watercolor class. No, have not done that. 18, be more systematic about connecting with friends and colleagues. And this was a carryover. I've done it better, but there's a lot of room for improvement. I would say that's underway. Okay. And in your defense, I think we're all still getting back to... Yeah. Speed up to speed on the whole socializing thing. Yeah. Number 19, review your giant happiness catch all document. And that's also a carryover. No, I haven't done this. And this is the thing where I know I would love it, but I know it would also be very intellectually overwhelming. And I just haven't mm. had like an open space. But I really, I'm glad it's on the list because I do want to do it. Maybe you should schedule it for after you hand in your final draft of your Five Senses book. That's a really good idea because I will have like a gap there probably. And yeah, that's a really good a idea. Breath, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number twenty. Keep going to the med every day. Yes, I'm doing that. Yep. Yes, that's amazing. Number 21, ask for permission to badger. I sort of did, but it turns out people don't really want to be badgered. And so right. I haven't really been doing that. But that's good because it's like, don't badger people if they don't want to be badgered. I am a happiness bully, but I'm, a, I'm one who asks permission. So there you have it. And then number 22 was add one item. You left like a space to add something. Do you know what you're adding? Have you decided yet? I have not decided. So I want to keep that there. I don't want to just put something okay. in there for the sake of putting it in. I want to wait for to have something good. Okay. Well, I will be interested, as I'm sure everyone will, to hear what it is. Okay. Well, we love to hear about how you're doing with your list. I will post links to the images if you want to see our list written out. We love to see your list. So post it to hashtag 22 for 22 if you're so inclined. We get good ideas. I need an idea for my number 22. Yes. Maybe I'll get a good idea from somebody else. Hey, get another dog, maybe. Yeah, get another dog. I know. I wonder what Jamie would say. We don't have a backyard, though, so I think that makes yeah. a big difference. But I will also post a link if you want to get the, Elizabeth mentioned the PDF where you can write your own nice, neat 22 for 22 list. I will put a link where you can download the free PDF or you can go to GretchenRubin.com slash resources. So let us know if you do try it at home and how using halfway day to review your 22 for 22 work for you. 
Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Drop us an email at podcast at GretchenRubin.com. Or as always, you can go to the show notes. If you want to see photos of our lists, go to happiercast.com slash 384 for everything related to this episode. Coming up, we've got a halfway day hack, but first this break. Okay, Gretchen, it is time for this week's happiness hack. Yeah, so we've been talking about using halfway day to set ourselves up for success. And halfway day, July 2nd, happens very near the July 4th weekend here in the United States. We have a three-day weekend. So I would say if you are wanting to track a habit, try the Happy your app. And it always takes, you know, a little bit of work to get yourself up and running on a new app. So use the holiday weekend, go to thehappierapp.com to learn more. You can track one habit for free. And then if you want to do more, you can subscribe. There's tools there. There's quotations there. There's tips, there's hacks, there's so much there. Like Elizabeth, I was thinking when you were saying about walking Nacho and Daisy, that's something yes. that you could track. I should do, yes. On the Don't Break the Chain perfect. tracker, or you could yes. use the photo log for that. Um, there's Ooh, things for accountability for yep. people who want accountability. So there's a lot of different tools, and depending on what's what you're trying to get done for your 22 and 22, or yes. for your rest 2022 and 22, like foreshadowing. Our next subject. Yes. Yeah, try the Happier app because um, yes. it's really designed it's to make all that easier. looking as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we won a Webby Award for Award design. Award winning. And it really does look gorgeous. So yeah, try the Happier app to keep yourself going on your list. And now speaking of Rest 22 and 22, Elizabeth, let's re- it's halfway day. Well, how are you doing on Rest 22 and 22? Yeah, well, it's interesting, Gretchen. I find it much harder to remember than we, because we had walk 20 and 20 and we mm-hmm. had read 21 and 21. And I feel that I did better with those mm. mostly because they were more top of mind. Mm. I feel that I just, it, I forget the rest, 20 and 2 and 22. Hmm. So when I think of it, I enjoy resting, but it's just, it it doesn't feel as urgent as the others, which I guess makes sense. Well, maybe now that your schedule has opened up a little bit, you can try to insert this in. Maybe part of it was mm, it was hard yeah. when you were so, when you were working so hard, maybe it felt hard to claim that time, mm-hmm. though you probably needed it all the more. Right, exactly. I should probably put it on a post-it. Anything yes. I don't have on a post-it doesn't happen. So maybe yes. what put I it need on a post-it. is a post-it. <laughs> yeah, I put it on the calendar, you put it on a post-it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Well, you said you've been napping every day. I mean, right there, you're yeah. doing your rest 22 and 22. And it's great. I really love napping. I will say that it's at the beginning, I didn't notice it. But now I do notice a little bit of grogginess when I wake up. Like Mm. I I definitely have to like brace myself that there's a couple minutes where I'm sort of waking up, but it's totally worth it. I love napping. So for for me, rest 22 and 22 has been has really added something to my life. So if you are working on your rest 22 and 22, you can go to a jumpstart that I created that will help you jumpstart the habit of rest. And there's an SMS challenge. And there's also an energy worksheet, which is really Mm. helpful if you're trying to figure out like when are you energetic and when are you less energetic throughout the day. And as I said, this is kind of a bonus hack. It's like if something's not working for you, try doing it at a different time of day. I think that can often be a productive thing to try. Yeah, and Gretchen, I would love to hear if people who are resting 22 and 22 regularly, consistently think they actually have, they're more productive. I'm yes. curious. Yes, let us know your experience. How do you rest and what has the consequence of your rest being? Let yeah. us know. And also, if you want the calendar of catalysts, because we're using halfway day, I'm not sure I remembered to, to say, if you want the whole calendar of catalysts, I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well. Right. And now it's the demerits and gold stars. It's your week for the demerit. It's an even numbered episode. Yes, Gretchen, I did something. You know what? I double booked myself. Mm, we've all done it. I said yes to two big social events. Mm. Did not like, oh, dinner with a friend at a random restaurant, you know, like actual events. Mm. And I am not someone who just goes, oh, well, I can't go to one of them. I am tortured by yes. this. Yes. Yeah. I, Aww. you know, it was just a matter of not paying attention. I had forgot, I, I neglected to put something on the calendar because, yeah. you know, I always say, oh, I remember when things are. And you Clearly usually do. Not as you, I get, I think I do, but obviously sometimes I don't because I double booked. 
So that happened. And I want to remember just to, you know, as you do, check the calendar and put everything on the calendar, whether I think it needs to be there or not. Yeah. That's the takeaway. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, well, that's such a huge thing. There's no way I forget. How could I forget? But then when you're like in a different part of your brain, uh, it just doesn't connect. Yes. So anyway, I did that. But how about you? What is your gold star? Well, I'm giving you a gold star because Elizabeth, Ah. you months and months and months ago, you said, oh, watch the Get Back documentary. You thought I would really like it. And I wasn't inclined to do it. But then I remembered how you had told me to watch Mad Men for all those years. And then when I did, I was loved it so much. So I was like, okay, Elizabeth has proved herself (laughs) as a recommender to me. And so I should watch it. And of course, I was completely fascinated with it can't stop thinking about it yeah and that's what led me to to propose to jamie hey let's go see paul mccartney and it was just such a wonderful adventure and it's just been so exciting to have something like a new thing to be fascinated by and we're both fascinated by it so that's even more fun and so i give you a gold star for that original suggestion it's been well thank you i will accept that gold star and gold star to you for going to the concert yes yes the resources for this week, we are in, you know, like, I'm sure everybody's been seeing all these reports about how there's so many weddings happening these days, all these catch-up weddings. I myself know many people who have been, like, after years getting married. And there's also graduation, moving, travel, a lot of milestones, which means a lot of mementos. And if you want to organize your mementos, you can check out my Memento Keepsake Journal. That's one of the products that Elizabeth and I were talking about. I mean, it's a really, it makes it very easy to keep things organized and safe. It's very satisfying. So I'll post a link to the Memento Keepsake Journal. And also, speaking of halfway day, uh, if you've been wanting to start a journal, uh, but you haven't started yet, do start on July 2nd. You're, that's, that's the other January. And the one sentence journal is designed for people who don't want to keep a whole long journal, but still have that journal keeping itch. And it turns out if you write just a sentence a day, you you write a lot over time. So I will also post a link to the One Sentence Journal. Now, what are we reading? Elizabeth, what are you reading? I am listening to Take the Gun, Leave the Cannoli, the epic story of the making of The Godfather by Mark Seal. And I am reading Disability Visibility, first-person stories from the 21st century, edited by Alice Wong. And that's it for this episode of Happier. Remember to try this at home. Use Halfway Day to review your 22 and 22 list and your hashtag Rest22 and 22. Let us know if you tried it and if it worked for you. Thanks to our executive producer, Chuck Reed, and everyone at Cadence 13. Get in touch. Gretchen's on Twitter at Gretchen Rubin, and I'm at Elizabeth Craft. Our email address is podcast at GretchenRubin.com. And if you like the show, please be sure to tell a friend. That is really how most people discover our show show. We really appreciate it. Until next week, I'm Elizabeth Kraft. And I'm Gretchen Rubin. Thanks for joining us. Onward and upward. Gretch, a listener wrote in to tell me that there is a corgi con in San Francisco (laughs) twice a year where hundreds of corgis gather on the beach. It just happened and I saw the photos, but there's another in October, so... Maybe Adam and I will go to that. Yeah, well, it's like you've been wanting to go to San Francisco. So this I is know. your... Yeah, I don't Corgi know that... Con. Uh, well, yeah, do, do Nacho and Daisy want to go to San Francisco, but that'd be so fun. I know. Thanks so much for watching our podcast here on YouTube. If you enjoyed it, please hit subscribe right below the video. It really helps other people to discover the show. Thanks. From the Onward Project.